it's time to do 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 You might or might not have seen that coming. Anyways, hello and welcome back to the Concept Checkup. The point of Concept Checkup is to dive into the Warframe forums, look for a community-made Warframe concept, and talk about it. For the purpose of Concept Checkup, I will use my custom-built evaluating method known as, ASS. Without further ado, let's begin the checkup. For today's checkup we have Vigil, the duelist Warframe. Yes, that is a sword on his arm. Vigil was created by Toa Phantom and Wonky Wondershot on the Warframe forums. Despite being a sword-wielding frame like Excalibur, Vigil is not meant to be an excellent all-rounder DPS frame. Rather, Vigil's design makes him lean more to comboing his abilities together for larger damage output, similar to a Saren, but with a little bit of support to go along with it. Vigil wields an Uchigatana, which is a real-life sword by the way, similar to how Mesa has her Peacemakers and Valkyrie her claws. However, Vigil's exclusive weapon is different because it brings with it its unique abilities, which I will get into later. Vigil's passive gives him 20% bonus melee channeling efficiency, and 10% power efficiency to all of his abilities. Considering that Vigil is an ability combo frame and the bonus efficiency passive he has, I am almost inclined to call him a melee caster frame, but his stats say otherwise. Vigil has high health, low shields, above average armor, slightly below average energy capacity, and above average sprint speed. Even with the built-in efficiency, Vigil's lower than normal energy capacity is a problem, which is further amplified by any energy leech Eximus he encounters. Judging by how Vigil gets free efficiency to somewhat offset the low energy capacity, using ability combos with Vigil might take some amount of planning to avoid energy waste. Vigil's first ability is Yeno. Vigil ceases all movement for a brief amount of time and slashes in a 180 degree cone in front of him dealing 250 slash damage to enemies in range. Yano might be too strong or too weak, depending on if the 250 slash damage is total, or if it's 250 slash damage per slash. In addition to that, the number of slashes is unknown, so for the moment Yano is a little murky in terms of description. If it's 250 total slash damage, then Yano might require a small buff. I say small because Yano deals 250 slash damage to all enemies in range, rather than a high damage single target ability like Alice's Landslide. If it's 250 slash damage per hit, then Yano might require tweaking, depending on the number of slashes. Vigil's second ability is Sharpen. Sharpen increases the melee attack speed and finisher damage of nearby allies for a limited amount of time. Sharpen is pretty self explanatory as it's a simple AO team buff. However, since Sharpen increases finisher damage, Vigil might have very strong synergy with an Excalibur and Mirage, with Radiant Finish and Total Eclipse equipped respectively. Vigil's third ability is Ethereal Blades. Upon activation, Vigil has three ghost-like swords follow him, which will remain until used. Vigil can hold down the three key to charge the Ethereal Blades, and then release to fire the blades towards the cursor. Each blade deals 200 slash damage, and if a target is struck by a blade, they will be stunned for a few seconds and be open to finisher attacks. The utility of ethereal blades is appealing, particularly if it can work against assassins and or bosses, as well as its potential in the conclave. For a third ability, the damage is may, but the utility makes up for it. Vigil's fourth ability is Ancient Touchy Katana which upon activation, gives Vigil 25% additional power efficiency to all of his abilities, in addition to giving him access to his Uchigatana melee weapon. When Ancient Uchigatana is active, Vigil loses 2.5 energy for every strike with his Uchigatana, rather than a normal energy drain like Exalted Blade. Uchigatana deals 250 slash damage, and comes with its own Vigilant Strike stance. Uchigatana also has a 30% status chance and a 1.1 attack speed, 15% crit chance, 2 times crit multiplier, and 3 times channeling damage multiplier. Yeah. Needless to say, Uchigatana might need some changes to make it a bit fairer as a melee weapon. When Ancient Uchigatana is active, 
In addition to 25% additional power efficiency, Vigil's first three abilities change to different powers. Vigil's Yano turns into Flash Step. Flash Step allows Vigil to teleport to any enemy within range, much like Ash's teleport. While Flash Step sounds lackluster, Flash Step can allow Vigil to ignore range and teleport to an enemy if they are marked by his third ability, which is Mark of Vigil. Vigil's Ethereal Blades becomes Mark of Vigil, an ability that allows Vigil to target an enemy and remove 50% of their armor or shields, depending on the enemy. The debuff will apply for 20 seconds, and because of its decent range, it can make for a nice ranged supportive power. Going back to Flash Step's description, if an enemy is marked by Mark of Vigil, Vigil can teleport to the target with Flash Step, regardless of how far away. It's important to note that Mark of Vigil only applies to enemies, since it's a purity buff of course, so it's impossible to mark an ally and teleport to them as an emergency. Vigil's Sharpen becomes Fortitude, a self-buff that turns all of Vigil's shields into health, and increasing his total armor by 2.5 as long as Vigil has Ancient Tachigatana active. Also, Fortitude allows the damage that Vigil deals while channeling with his melee weapon to scale with his melee combo counter. This is the ability that seems fairly odd to me, because even though Vigil has higher armor than normal, Fortitude seems to turn Vigil into a tank which for a combo-oriented swordsman seems a little out of place. The damage portion of Fortitude is nice, but Fortitude as a tank buff just seems weird for Vigil. When Excalibur is compared to Vigil, some interesting results can pop up. On one hand, Excalibur is a great damage frame to take along for nearly any occasion, with Radio Blind to act as a supportive ability. Vigil on the other hand is capable of rapid movement, buffing allies, debuffing enemies, and having a large damage output because of his Uchigatana. This puts him into a very strange state of being a tank caster DPS, which seems to be the product of a misplaced identity. I personally see Vigil played as an alternative counterpart to Excalibur, much like Oberon parallels Trinity, but Vigil's kid hasn't been clarified yet. Is he a caster? A tank? A DPS? It's weird to answer because it's as if Vigil is trying to be all three at once, which basically results in a jack-of-all-trades warframe. That result is not always pleasant, as Oberon is living proof. But anyways, here are Vigil's scores. Vigil's kit is great for the most part. The problem is that he suffers from a lack of clear identity, which makes me wonder what the fuck kind of role he's meant to be. As a power combo frame, Vigil has to be a mixture of caster and DPS, so there's absolutely no reason to give him tank abilities. For my personal thoughts, I like Vigil's look. I really do. I just can't get behind him 100% if his identity isn't fleshed out more, and if his kit remains all over the place. So that's Vigil's checkup. Tune in next time where I will perform a concept checkup on Pradium. Thank you for watching.